Now in this video, I explain how your answer should be different from others answer. So that the possibility of you get offer letter is more. Because in interview, most of the times after the interview, students normally tell, Sir, interview was very simple, but I could not clear it. Why? Because it was very simple, that's why I could not clear. Because I prepared for all complicated concepts. See, even, and in, but interviewer asked me simple concepts. Even a simple concept, you, if you do little homework, how you can be different from others? That I will explain in this particular video. For example, symbolic constants. You take, this is a very simple concept. So almost 99% of the students, they tell answer for this particular question. But how you should be in 1% basket, that is very important. So that's why each and every concept here, I explain from interview point of view. Now observe here, hash define pi 3.1412, wherever pi is there, it will be replaced with 3.1412. This is the concept of symbolic constant. And uh, so here pi is considered as symbolic constant. So now in the interview, you are in interview. So how your answer is different from others. So now interviewer asks the question, explain symbolic constant. So always you do little homework for each and every concept. So concept name, symbolic constant. So two columns. In first column, you write normal version. So how anybody for that matter explains this particular concept. My version, second column, this is very important. Here you put some points so that your answer should be different from other's answer. Now normal version, anybody for that matter, how they explain symbolic constant? So they explain like this. Uh, sir, anything which is of the form hash defined pi 3.1412 where pi is considered as a symbolic constant. Wherever pi is there, it will be replaced with 3.1412. Everybody tells this much. Now, how you should be unique. So now, your homework here. Now, you explain like this. Your version should be like this. You start explaining like, Sir, he asked you the question or she asked you the question. Explain symbolic constant. You start like this. Imagine the scenario there is no concept called symbolic constant. Imagine the scenario. There is no concept called symbolic constant. I used 3.1412 in my program in 100 places. I used 3.1412 in my program in 100 places. Tomorrow, client will come and ask me to change 3.1412 to 3.1413. Then I have to go to 100 places and do the change. I have done change promptly in 99 places and I have forgotten to do it in one place. So in 99 places, 3.1413 is there, but only in one place, 3.1412 is there. So this will lead to logical error. Definitely compiler will not throw any error message. And logical error, as I already explained, most dangerous error on the planet Earth because there will be nobody to warn you that you are doing a mistake. And logical errors are not at all acceptable in mission critical application. Mission critical application means applications where human life is involved. So symbolic constants play a very important role in eliminating logical error. Then interviewer will come to know you have done homework, little homework and you are serious about the job, you are serious about the career. So then you don't stop there, you continue. Sir, since we change the value before the compilation, in the case of symbolic constants, it is called preprocessor directive. Anything which starts with hash it is called preprocessor directive. So before compilation, we do the change and we don't do the change during execution. So it contributes to the faster execution. And uh, since 
you don't use the number 3.1412, 3.1412 repeatedly in your program. You use pi. So it improves the readability of the program. If anybody, okay, so if any other person reads your program, it will be very easy for them to go through your program. So these are all some of the important things when it comes to uh, symbolic constants. So your answer should be like this. Now, let me take one more concept. For example, keywords. Now, how? Keyword is a very simple concept. Again, make it two column. So, one is normal version, another one is my version. So, how normally students explain keywords? So, keywords are also called reserve words. And there are 32 keywords in C language. And one cannot assign a new meaning to the keyword because their meaning has already been explained to the compiler. And we cannot use variable names as, uh, we cannot use keywords as variable names. So, this is normal version. But how your version should be? So, you write here. So, your version should be different from others. So, you tell, apart from standard keywords, there are few keywords specific to the compiler and they are called extended keywords. So when you use the word specific to the compiler, there is a possibility that interviewer may ask, which are all the different compilers you know. You should know different compilers, Turbo C, Visual C, <coughs> GCC, Lattice C, Quick C, so Borland C. These are all different versions of compiler. So each compiler has its own keywords that is specific to the compiler and they are called extended keywords. ANSI committee has made a rule. These extended keywords should start with two underscore, but most of the compiler manufacturers are not following this particular rule. Example for extended keywords are ASM, FAR, NEAR. So by telling this answer, your version will be different from others version. Now, I take one more concept, which is very simple. Int, short int, long int. How you explain this concept to the interior? Normally students, they tell like this. So integer is two bytes when it comes to 16 bit compiler and four bytes when it comes to 32 bit compiler. Short is always two bytes, irrespective of 16 bit or 32 bit. Long is always 4 bytes irrespective of 16 bit or 32 bit. Now, here we will, how your answer, okay, can be different. How you can be different. Now, I already told the normal version. Short is always 2 bytes. Long is always 4 bytes. Int is 2 bytes in case of 16 bit and 4 bytes in case of 32 bit. Your version, your version should be like this. You tell. So imagine the scenario, I am using 16-bit compiler and I want to store a population of a particular country which I cannot store it in 2 bytes because in 16-bit compiler, int gives me 2 bytes. In that case, I go for this declaration, long int population, so where long int gives me 4 bytes. And Imagine the scenario, I am using 32-bit compiler where I want to store age of a person. So in 32-bit compiler, int gives me 4 bytes. To store age of a person, why 4 bytes required? Maximum 3 digits, that is if you go up to 100, 100 to 99, 3 digits more than enough. To store 3 digits integer number, why 4 bytes required? So 2 bytes more than enough. So in the case of 32-bit compiler, if I want only 2 bytes for integer, better go for short int age. By telling this, the interviewer will come to know you have done some real-time analysis like that. So that's why always make sure that for interview, little homework is very much required. For each and every concept, simple concept, make sure that you prepare this chart, normal version, my version how others will answer and how my answer should be different from others' answer. Thank you.